Hi guys, welcome to Bobby Happy's Holly DIY series. For this video, I will be showing you how to make these cute peppermint coasters. The pattern was originally made by Wendy Bennett. I just made some slight changes to make it suit my personal preference. So, if you want to know how to make these, please keep on watching. For the materials, you will be needing a 4mm crochet hook, a white worsted weight yarn, a green or red worsted weight yarn with metallic accent, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle for weaving in loose ends. Let's start! First, get your white yarn and make a slip knot. Then, begin by making 4 chains. Don't make your chain too tight because we want enough space to work in the first round. Then, make your ring base by joining to the first chain that you made with a slip stitch. For the first round, we need to chain 3. This will be counted as your first double crochet for this round. Next, make 11 double crochets inside the ring. You can tuck in the loose yarn in your stitch so that you won't have to worry about weaving it in later. Okay, now we're on our 11th double crochet. So, including the first 3 chains that we made, that's a total of 12 double crochets. To close this round, just make a slip stitch on top of the beginning chain 3 that we made. For the second round, we need to chain 1. Then we will make two single crochets into the same chain where we worked our slip stitch. Then on our next stitch, make two single crochets. Continue on this pattern until you reach the last stitch. We're on the last stitch, so we'll make one. then two single crochets so that's a total of 24 single crochets for the second round then simply join with a slip stitch let's begin our third round by making eight chains the first four chains will be counted as a treble crochet and the next four will be the four chain space. Then skipping the next stitch, this one, we need to work a treble crochet on the next stitch. After you make your treble crochet, chain 4. 
Then skip a stitch again and make a treble crochet in the next stitch. Do this alternating treble crochet and four chain pattern until you reach the second to the last stitch of the previous round. So for this round, you will need to have a total of 12 treble crochets and 12 four chain spaces. To close off this round, simply make a slip stitch on the 4th chain of the beginning 8th chain. Then fasten off and leave a tail of about 45 inches to weave in later. Now here's the fun part. Um, it's a bit complicated but you'll get a hang of it. Take your green yarn and make a slip knot. Then insert your hook and tighten the knot. So for this round, we will be working on the spaces of the coaster to make the peppermint stripe pattern. To begin this, make sure the right side of your coaster is facing you. Then, fold a part of the edge towards the center so that you will see an unworked single crochet from the second round. Insert your hook in this unworked single crochet. Yarn over and pull through all loops to join our yarn. Next, chain 4. Now then, here's the tricky part. I'll try my best to explain how to do this. So I have two ways of working the next stitches. The first is to insert the handle of your crochet hook through the chain space you're working on so that your working yarn is now behind your work and your crochet hook is in front of your work. I hope that's clear. Then make four more chains. Fold your piece again towards you and make a treble crochet in the next unworked single crochet. Move your crochet hook to the front again. And make four chains. So just remember to make sure that your working yarn is always behind your crochet piece. Fold your piece again towards you and work another treble crochet in the next unworked single crochet. Okay, here's the other technique I've mentioned earlier. Remove your hook from the yarn. Then, from the front of your work, simply grab the yarn again with your hook. I think this is the easier way to do it. Just make sure that your working yarn is still behind your work. Then, make 4 chains again. Continue working on this treble crochet and 4 chain pattern until you reach the last unworked single crochet stitch.
Then to end this round, join with a slip stitch from the back of your work to the fourth chain of your beginning stitch. Fasten off. Weave in loose ends. And you're done. These peppermint coasters are a great way to add a festive touch to your tablescape this Christmas. It's also a nice gift idea for your family and friends. If you want to know more details about this project, uh, please do check out my blog. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below if you have questions or if you have suggestions on what kind of videos you want to see. And also, thank you so much and see you in the next Holly DIY video. Bye!